How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back in my garage again today, not Forza. Finally doing the long-awaited third part series of my Kawasaki Z900 build. I guess it's sort of a build, I guess. In the first episode, we had a look at the bike reveal. We put a screen on it and stuff like that. In the second one, we put half the exhaust system on. But now in this third series, the bike is complete. It has the full exhaust system on it. It has a wrap on it, which I've not told anyone about. It has so much more accessories and we're going to be fitting today loads of RNG parts. RNG are one of the best places to go for crash protection and in here I have all sorts of different crash protection that we're going to fit to the Z900E. You can see how easy it is to fit and what uh, benefits I'll get from it. Now before I get into the next bit of the video I will need to say that this is going to annoy a lot of people. I kept having to stop the recording and starting it again but because I don't record on my phone that much some of these clips are in portrait mode. So yeah, that's going to annoy quite a lot of you. I apologise, but you're going to have to put up with it. Now, as I said, if you follow my Instagram, you'll know what colour this bike has been wrapped. In fact, if you've seen my keys, that may be a, be a bit of a hint. But uh, in a minute, I'm going to pull the cover off and you're going to see what colour that we have wrapped my Z900. And it looks so cool. And I'm also going to start it up so you can hear the brand new full exhaust system and oh my goodness it sounds so different from how it used to sound. So before we jump straight into it and have a listen to the exhaust I'm going to leave a clip on screen right now of what the exhaust sounded like standard and stock. <laughs> now this is what the bike sounds like with just the slip on. which we did in the second video. And in a minute, we're gonna have a listen to what it sounds like with a full exhaust system. And honestly, it is such a big difference. But here we go. Let's first have a look at the wrap, shall we? Make sure it's not hooked on the back. There we go, there's a glimpse of the plate. Pop that there. Here we go. Look, that didn't go well, did it? Look at that color, boys. I've wrapped my Z900 in 3M Atlantis Blue and it looks amazing. It's a very shiny, kind of sparkly, light blue, dark blue kind of mix. It looks so nice. We've literally done it to the whole bike as well. There's unfortunately a glimpse of green down in the middle because that's what colour the bike was standard. We can't really wrap that bit, so that's going to have to stay like that for now. But it's not perfect. There's a few imperfections. In fact, there's quite a few. However, it's a wrap. It's done. It's a bit of winter protection as well because it's just coming up to winter. So because there's a wrap on it, we've got a bit of winter protection as well, which is cool. You may have noticed we've got some stickers on the front as well, just to break up the colour a bit. And it does look really, really cool. Oh, and if you've not noticed, we've got some tie writing on there as well, which also looked awesome. But this is what you've been waiting for, the exhaust sound. So you've heard the comparisons and this is what my Z900 now sounds like with a straight pipe system.
it's very loud. There's actually smoke or some sort coming out of it at the moment. That's probably because it's, well, it's a cold start because it's obviously extremely cold. I probably shouldn't be breathing in those fumes. <laughs> I would have kept it and had it warm up, but I need to keep the engine quite cold because this is where we're going to be putting a few of the crash protection bits. So I need to keep that clear. So anyway, we're going to get into opening this box and see what we have to fit to the mic today. Brilliant. Right, let's see what we have in here to fit today. Half of it's just bubbles. Brilliant. Right, what do we have here? The first thing, I believe these are the front fork spindle things. Yeah, front fork protectors. Basically, this will go through um, the wheel, through the front wheel, and I'll have little uh, bung protectors on each side to protect any of the wheel parts in the event of a crash. So we've got that. That's... These are also protection for the reels. Again, we'll see where they go. We've got the main crash bungs. Now these are the beefiest things that most bikers go for. Um, these sit around here on the bike, right here. So in the event of a fall over, it's usually these that get damaged and the whole side of the bike is usually completely fine. So these are definitely worth it, no matter what bike you have. And something I haven't mentioned, you probably can't tell what it is from this, a horn. If we have a look at the diagram here, we can see that the standard horn is 100 decibels. Other aftermarket horns are 110. This horn is 113, which is more than double the, uh, the volume of a standard horn. And doubles quite a lot. I'm actually gonna hear the standard horn right now just to see if it is actually quite loud. Even that's quite loud, straight up. I can't imagine that horn. I'm looking forward to fitting that. Engine casing. These actually go on the outside of the engine to act as a cover so the engine doesn't get broken or dented or whatever in the event of, again, a crash. Now, if you want links to any of these products, they can be found in the link in the description at RNG's website. Definitely the number one space to go for bike protection. You can probably get bungs for any bike, engine casings for any bike. They do absolutely all sorts to do first. I fancy doing the bungs first because these are the main things. So we can see the crash protectors here. Let's um, have an open up of them. That's actually staple shut. I should still be able to do it. Brilliant. Right. Oh wow, those are beefy. Those are. Oh, ho, ho. Smell pretty funky as well. And these, as I said, slide into this whole white here, which I actually have capped off with a uh, a bung which I'm going to have to take out, unfortunately. And that basically sits there on the bike. So it's quite spaced out, but if the bike falls over, this is what's going to take the road friction. None of this, none of this, none of this. It should protect quite a lot of the bike. Now there is a bolt in there, which I need to undo and then replace with this long one, which will go in there, which means this obviously sits on the outside. There we go. That looks right to me. So if we pop this back there, and oh, it's a bigger one. There. That's not gutting anywhere, right. Now that's in, we can put a cap on. This little cap goes in the end, drops it. Sweet! You know what? That actually looks quite cool. I'll show you again the benefit of this. It sticks out the bike quite a lot. So when the bike goes down, Obviously the uh, foot peg may get bent, but all of these panels and everything around here should be protected quite well. I'm not going to bore you with the other side. Let's move on to one of the other gadgets we have. Um, I think we're going to do the wheel ones now, the fork protectors. Now as I said, this long spine thing goes through the middle of the wheel and basically puts a bung on there 
and on there as well. Right. Down there. Slide the plastic tube off and we're ready to go. Be the same on both sides. So that just goes through there. Ooh, very snazzy. The event of a crash, the wheels should also be protected as well. Well, this important part of it anyway. Now what we're going to do next is the cotton reels, which came in this little package here. These cotton reels, these go here on each side of the bike. There's already a hole ready for it. They just go there and then they protect this and maybe a bit of the exhaust in the event of a crash as well. So for this, I believe we can just simply grab hold of it and pop it into place. There we go. Into place. Now this said it's it's for the OEM exhaust, which obviously I don't have. What the hate doesn't hurt a bit of protection. Why not? There we go. Right, I'm going to do the other side and then we'll move to the engine casing. Okay, so the engine covers. Now these are going to be the coolest ones. I can find the entrance into this box. That's very strange. Aha! Aha! Oh yeah! So I think there's three of these, all of which scatter around the bike now that is going to look cool because that's going to match the bike because it's black oh wow that was a bit of a faff um in the instructions this is one instruction per engine case it says to stick these little black things these little things in the back of each one of the holes of each one of the things and the holes aren't big enough so rng if you're watching this i just had to drill through each one of these holes to make them big enough for these to clip into into place. Good. Yeah, that was easier. Probably didn't even need the tape there, but just to be safe. I put it and now we just do everything up, get all these silly bits of tape off of me. Sweet, that is two out of three done. Brilliant, so there we go. That's the third engine case cover on. We've got one on that side, and then the two on this side. We've got the front fork protectors on both sides. We've got the cotton reels. We've got the bungs, which I also did the other side with as well here. Brilliant. I would say that is a pretty well kitted out and protected bike, along with the wrap, which is also winter protection. Now, while I was doing the other side, my dad came down and did the horn for me. He fitted it while I was doing the other thing. And let's have a listen at how loud my horn now is on the bike. This is what it looks like, just so you're aware. It genuinely looks like a loud horn. Look at that. So uh, here's a clip of the old horn. And here's a clip of the new horn. 
that's just stupid, but if you're a biker, you'll know. People need to know you're coming, but I suppose they're going to know I'm coming anyway. From this exhaust. Oh, engine's not on. quick overview of what aftermarket parts I now have fitted to this bike. We have a pooch, screen, a pyramid, extender fender, a pyramid radiator guard. We have the whatever that horn is. We've got a pooch brake fluid cap cover. We've got pooch bar end mirrors. We've got pooch bar ends. We've got aftermarket foot pegs. We've got an Ixl IX race exhaust slip on. We have an arrow headers. We have RNG front protectors, we have RNG bungs, we have RNG engine covers, we have RNG cotton reels, we have an Ermax hugger, we have a pooch tail tidy, we have Venture Shield on the clocks, we have a Kawasaki seat cowl which is over there, we have the wrap and we also have the painted side panels. So that is one incredibly pimped up Z900. Don't want to leave this video going on too long guys, but it's been pretty cool. We've fitted all the RNG stuff today. We've had a good look at the horn and all the exhaust sounds, the wrap and everything. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. The next video on this bike will be a motor vlog on the road. I've no idea what time it's going to be, but we're going to be getting some public reactions to the exhaust sound because honestly the camera does no justice. It is so much more louder than it sounds. But anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, check out RNG in the description if you want to buy any of these aftermarket parts I have, or pooch or whatever, or pyramid, and I'll see you all later.